Well, good evening, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Nova Scotia Federations of Labor Convention for 2011. My name is Kyle Buett. I'm the president of the Halifax Dartmouth and District Labor Council, and I'm happy to bring you greetings on behalf of the 25,000 affiliated unionized members of the Halifax Dartmouth and District Labor Council. I also want to mention to my counterparts across the province, the South Shore Labor Council, the Annapolis Valley Labor Council, the Strait Labor Council, and the Cape Breton District Labor Council. Um, to get Together, the five labor councils work across the province in order to make sure that workers' issues are brought to the forefront at the municipal level. Um, brothers and sisters, I want to talk very briefly about three things here today. I want to welcome you to Halifax. I want to talk to you about the situation that organized labor finds itself in. And I want to talk to you why, now more than ever, it's important for us to work together to build a culture of solidarity. First off, welcome to Halifax, or better yet, welcome to my hometown, Dartmouth. Uh, anybody else from Dartmouth? Represents, come on guys. So while you're here, make sure that you take in everything our city has to enjoy. There's both the downtown uh, Dartmouth and downtown Halifax. We're gonna be having a great event tomorrow night at the Celtic Corner that the Labor Council and Federation are sponsoring. Um, so make sure you check that out. Um, and of course, the future looks a little brighter here in Halifax after announcements that have been made this, uh, this week. And uh, of course, with the ship start here contract, we've got chances to be creating good, long-term, family-supporting employment here in Halifax, and we're very much looking forward to that. I also would be remiss if I didn't mention something else that is very exciting happening in our city right now. Down at Grand Parade, right in front of City Hall, Occupy Nova Scotia has been holding that space for well over a week now, fighting back against corporate greed and the banks that crashed our economy. Brothers and sisters, while you're in town, make sure you try and stop by the occupation. Stop by at any point. All you have to yell out is mic check, and suddenly everybody will call it back to you, and you can say whatever you want. Make sure that you announce yourself as a union member and let them know that organized labor stands on the side of justice. Brothers and sisters, we're dealing with difficult times for the labor movement. At the federal level, we have a, the Stephen Harper government, and Harper's Canada and the vision for Harper's Canada is truly terrifying. It is a vision where workers do not have the right to strike, and a vision where they are legislated back to work at the drop of a hat. It is a vision where privatization of our public services, specifically health care and education, continue unabated. And it's an agenda that is signing trade deals across the world that are going to devastate our manufacturing base here in Nova Scotia and across the country. At the provincial level, we're dealing with a government that occasionally seems to forget which side it's on. And we're dealing with a case where we need to be working as public sector workers and in the private sector to push back against an austerity agenda that is making cuts to health care and education and good quality jobs across the province. And if a federal and provincial government weren't enough, we're dealing with right-wing employers who take no excuses and no prisoners when pushing for two-tiered wages, violations of human rights and equity clauses, and attacks on workers' pensions and benefits. When you put those three together, we're dealing with a perfect storm, brothers and sisters. But that's why I want to say to you that it's more important now than ever to be working to build a culture of solidarity across Nova Scotia and across Canada. Working together works, brothers and sisters. We saw it with the solidarity that we built through the postal workers lockout. We saw it with the solidarity that's being built through Occupy Nova Scotia and through other activities here in the city. Fighting back is going to work. It's going to let us win, and we're going to emerge from this much stronger together. I want to thank the Nova Scotia Federation of Labor and its leadership for the support they've put forward for the Labor Council's uh, campaigns over the last two years. With that support, we've been able to do some amazing things here in Halifax, and I'm sure you'll hear more about them over the next few days. Um, I'm going to close very quickly, but uh, I want to leave two things with you. I'm going to leave you a quote to think about, and then I'm going to do a chant to get you energized. So the first one is a quote by a union leader in the 1920s. Um, his name was Eugene Debs, longtime socialist, rebel rouser, agitator, and organizer of tons of workers across the United States. And one of his favorite quotes that he gives us is, speak truth to power, and they will call it revolution. So when we are speaking truth to power, when we're saying the issues that actually matter in our communities, to our lives, and to our families, when we're telling those to the politicians, that's the truth they need to be hearing, and we need to make that truth loud and clear. 
But most importantly, and I'm going to leave you a bit of a chance to energize, you know, I promise to step back from the mic for this one. But uh, everybody stand up for a second. So this one you're going to do with me, okay? And I know that at least a handful of folks know it, right? So, ain't no power like the power of the people because the power of the people don't stop. There ain't no power like the power of the people because the 